Welcome, an interview with you by DJ's PRC. We have our Jeep SCX24. And what I'm going to do today is put some upgraded parts from Ott Racing, stainless steel front or rear axle skid. Now, I'll show you, oh, there's one per pack. I already did one, I did the front one. Let's see if it's going to want to focus here a bit. There we go. And you see it right here, it protects your front diff. And one of the reasons I did it is to protect my brass uh, diff cover. And let's uh, show you how you do the, re the rear one here. Uh, one of the first thing I'm gonna do is remove my wheels. because so unfortunately you have to. Just gonna put the screw back. Sometimes they're hard to remove uh, from this guy. They stay in. Oh, see, this one came off correctly now. Make sure I don't lose my uh, my X's. Now in the pack. Let's open it here, grab my knife. You have the, the stainless plate. You do have your mount and you have a bag of screws. Now in this bag of screws, they give you Four screws, two small ones, two mediums, and I'll call them two extra long. And you have your, your mount that you can't really see. Here we go. You'll see it a little bit better on the white spot. You'll see on the mount itself, uh, the way it's made, it's kind of a, of a keyed. You see this, this is, a, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera here. And I'm not sure if she's going to want to focus. There you go. There's one play. You'll see one of the uh, on the mount where the screw goes. One's more out on one side. That is key to go inside the physical uh, brass housing or the plastic housing that uh, is stock. You'll need to remove the bottom screws. And the reason they give you two sets of screws here is you need to change all four just to put it a little bit more solid. Come on. There you go. Remove these guys. Now I'll grab my two smaller ones, medium, should I say, and just swap out the bottom ones, the middle one, should I say. Be, be able to put the diff housing, the brass plate, a little bit stronger. They're a little bit longer, they go a little bit deeper. Now, if you do hit something, the, it's just the plate gets the hit, but the housing itself stays more solid. Now, grab your mount. There's one side a little bit deeper than the other one. Insert it. I'm just going to move. You'll see it when you put it in, it's more solid on one side than the other one. Grab one of your screws. And start screwing this one in. There we go.
These are tiny. There we go. Now we're gonna grab our plate. The HR goes towards the back. We're gonna grab our smaller ones and go to the side. These are a little more fun to do because It, they're a little bit harder to see where it goes. Now the plate is, uh, you can physically slide it a bit, but I was not able, for some reason, it sits in one place. Flip it on the other side. Because on the, pl on the plate, you'll notice there's a, uh, it's kind of slotted. Why, I do not know. At first, I was saying to myself, you might be able to slide it towards the back or towards the front. I was not able to. And there you go. Your diff uh, protector is on. And is she going to want to? There you go. I like it. I have to put my wheels back on. And then we're golden. Now, if you guys have any comments or questions about the, the diff plate covers, or the diff protector, should I say, leave a comment down, down below. I'll be able to answer you. And if you like this video, hit the like button. I do appreciate it a lot. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.